instincts take over. That's when I perform my best, and that's kind of when the really good moves come out. One of the most complete attack players in the, in the world. For the Canadian Rugby 7 squad, it's Gislan Landry's job to score. She does it often and with style. Uh, excitement would be a good descriptor for, for Gislan. It's one of those players you just got to keep your eye on. Nicknamed the Pocket Rocket. For Landry, dodging defenders is nothing new. I remember playing Octopus in the gym and like... Some of the guys were a bit better than me, but in terms of being one of the, I was definitely one of the last girls. Yeah. Her PE days may be in the past, but making people miss has become second nature. In 2015, the Toronto native led the World Rugby 7 Series in scoring. I want to be a difference maker. I mean, when I step on the field, I want to be a threat to any defender that's in front of me. I'm a smaller player, so the way I do that is evasiveness, speed, reading the game, and making good decisions. But at the end of the day, I want to be someone that, you know, the defender looks up and says, she. <laughs> And getting to that level takes more than natural talent. Team out of reps, so just bring a bag in. Head coach John Tate says it's Landry's preparation that sets her apart. One of the top players in, in terms of spending time on video, not just reviewing herself, but opposition, and, and really, you know, really wants to learn, uh, learn a lot about the, the game and really be a master of, uh, of our sport. A quiet, humble veteran who lets her game do the talking. The 27-year-old Landry's leadership has rubbed off on some of the team's rising stars, like 17-year-old Oak Bay native Caroline Crossley. Gisland definitely leads by example and just does everything right every day, so just watching her helps you learn. And this summer, Gislaine and her teammates will be making Canadian sport history, becoming the first Canadian women's rugby sevens team to ever play in the Olympics. For rugby, it's massive. For us as individuals and as a team, it's it's an honor to be part of the program. This group is a, a group of trailblazers in the sport. Since the city of Langford became home to the national program in 2012, the women's game has steadily grown across Canada, with women's teams now in 20 universities and nearly 250 high schools. But showcasing Landry and her teammates on the Olympic world stage could bring the sport to new heights. To have female sporting models as a kid is huge. It gets more kids involved, so I think this is going to be a big part of that and growing the game in Canada. Team on two, one, two, eight. And Landry, surprise, surprise, gets the first points on the board for Canada. Gislen Landry is one of the most celebrated players of her generation. But Canada's captain remembers a time when it looked like she may never get the chance to show how great she could be. At the time, the emotion is frustration, a little bit of anger. Um, you just want your shot. At five foot two, coaches just couldn't see past her size. <clears throat> you know, I was pretty small back then. Um, I was told I was I was too small to play senior rugby. Um, you know, I was probably 120 pounds, soaking wet. But despite Gislin's size, her talent couldn't be overlooked. She was in the national team system, but during those first four years, she never got the opportunity to play a single international game for Canada. For me, mentally, that was a, a test. And I think, you know, I could have given up at that moment Just as she was starting to doubt herself, along came John Tate, a head coach who was new to the women's game. I had just come over from the men's program. I didn't have a deep knowledge of, of who was playing where in the women's game, so I came in with a clean slate. John Tate, I remember him giving me my jersey, and he said, I can't believe this is your first jersey. And it was kind of like a little bit of relief at the moment of finally getting that after so many years. But also, like, I was proud of myself because those were tough years. In the eight years since playing her first international game, Gislin has become one of the sport's most prolific scorers and one of its most respected athletes. The little stab through from Landry and Landry concocts the first try for Canada. A little bit of magic from the Canadian skipper. She believes that early adversity <coughs> made her the player she is today. Once I got my opportunity, I was 
I was going to prove to everybody that I deserved to be there, and, and not just that, but I was going to excel. I don't, I don't play rugby to play rugby. I want to be the best, and I want to be as good as I can be on any given day. Simpkins, Porsche, Porsche on, Woodman goes good. into challenge Come ball. On, that's good. And look at the strength of Woodman. Yeah, Fighting to get Police to the deck. Tackle now. Look at this fireman to carry. He did this in training. Look at that Porsche <laughs> woman. Powerful. <laughs> or he should have chucked two players on it back there. once again and Ghislaine, Ghislaine Landry brings up the metaphorical century raising her bat in due style for the hundred tries in this tournament a special moment for the Canadian captain it was a relatively easy finish for Landry for that very special moment in her career Seven metres out now, Canada. The pick and go. Too good, Canada with the first try. They make it look too easy there, Canada. First point in the first minute 30 to none other than Landry, their captain. Here's the vision. Nice draw and pass there. What she does so well. The centre almost got in the winger's space, but she... Saw the pick up and go, saw there was no defender at the ruck and Landry was too quick. This is the perfect response from Canada at half time. Farella and Landry, such a lethal combination. I said it before, Landry's going to play such a huge part in this game for the Canadian side. So evasive. She makes eye contact with Fisher. She knows she's got it beaten on the outside. Draws in the last defender from England and Farella's there in support. She's a stunning finisher, Farella. Counter-ruck comes, but they've latched on. There's Wilson. Look left and will go right. Ben at the back of the ruck. Now an opportunity for Landry. The pass slightly behind Green Shields. To the corner goes Crossley. And there's the first try of the women's rugby sevens. They certainly seem more composed early here, the Canadians. Landry with the tap. Now the kick. The chase is on from Ben. Can she get it down inside the dead ball line? The referee is out of confidence from Brittany Ben. No. Let's have a look here. Oh, oh that's has. clean down. She's got that is it. some scary. And here for Canada. Landry spots a gap. Numbers here. The dummy. She doesn't need it, but she needs support now. 
late arriving. Oh, was that a knock on? Referee said no. Count Juve with the pass, now under pressure. Through the hands to Greenshields for the corner. Does she get it down? Yes. The shoulder, Jen Kish striding away. Impact player off the bench. You're looking at Jen Kish and Landry. Surprise, surprise. The record point scorer in this tournament gets the first points on the board. Ben, back to Landry. Green Shields, it's deja vu for Canada. They've worked it on the right flank. Emily Murphy Crow should be there for Darling and Landry. Dummy, and then the pop pass again is a good one to Nicholas. They're just short of the line. Canada, desperate Irish defence. Can they get this wide? Surely Landry. She touches. Time that's all it takes. Nicholas. Good hands. And then an intercept. France with a chance. The chase is coming from Landry who pulls it down from behind. So 17-12. Canada about a minute and a half on the clock and from inside their own corner. Canada, there's no sweeper. Coming across and running it down. What a play from the edge. From Narkovny just on to the field. Canada have won the ball, the counter ruck. Just named Landry in the wraparound, the two right side. Just named Landry's going to back it south. Landry beats Chani. Kasnik won't get there. Just named Landry win a try for Canada. We talk about captains who lead by example. Well, she is one of them. Nice break through the first tackle of three defenders. A couple of defenders missed out, but Canada managed to turn it over. Landry out to Green Shields. Uh, she skips clear of the tackle on the first try. It's got to go to Canada. She wants a teammate well. Ben's never going to have the gas to finish from there. But they are in the back. Landry out to Ben. Takes that return. Now sets up the two on one. Doesn't need it though. She's laying Landry. Finds her way over the try line at last. At the fourth time of asking, Canada finally get the score on the board. Beautiful try. Montserrat Amadi up against Landry. Landry sticks to a task, brings her prey down and nicks the ball at the same time. Is there anything that this girl cannot do? What wonderful track and play. Let's see what they can produce for the counter attack. Wonderful track and play by Landry. Landry and Green Shields. Canada making good headway now. The little offload is beautiful from Green Shields. Holland's pass sets up. She's Lane Landry. And Landry takes the periphery, but still finds her way to market. And normal service is resumed after half time. Thing out there, give it everything you can. Big scrum from Canada Williams to Landry. Landry to the line. She'll feed the ball to Ben, and Brittany Ben's in. As easy as you like, the turnover from the scrum. This tournament, what a player she has been for the Canadians as Landry gets it out to Ben. Ben puts the hammer down. Landry's in to score another try number 97 in her career. And the top point scorer. Back basketball style. Green Shields goes around the cape. Then gives it to Landry. Game, set, match. Canada win. And it was the class of Green Shields and Cohen.